Hi, this is King of Review. Here we have a problem that's not quite complete. Well, x to the log base 3 of x is less than a over x, where we don't know a, and we have a solution. 1 ninth is less than x is less than 3. Since we have part of a problem and the solution, let's try working forwards from the problem and backwards from the solution and see if we can meet somewhere in the middle. Starting with the problem itself. Since I have an x in an exponent, what I always try to do when x is in an exponent is to take a log, since logs are generally inverses of exponents. And since we have a log base 3 in the problem, I'm going to take the log base 3 of both sides of the inequality. So we have the log base 3 of x to the log base 3 of x is less than the log base 3 of a over x. Now let's see if we can manipulate this a little bit. There are a few properties I want to use. Let me put them over here on the right. One of them is that if I have the log base b of x to some power a, I can bring the a in front of the log. So I'm going to apply that in the first log, where we have log base 3 of x as an exponent, like this a over here in the property. So I'm going to bring that log base 3 of x in front of the other log base 3 of x. Now we have two log base 3 of x's. On the right side I have a fraction inside of the log, and I can use another property for that. If I have the log base b of x over y, that's the same thing as the log base b of x minus the log base b of y. So, I can do the same thing over here. Split my log into the log base 3 of a minus the log base 3 of x. Now let's see, I'd like to bring all of my terms over to the left side of the problem. And we have the log base 3 of x. I have it multiplied by itself, so that's squared. I'm going to bring the log base 3 of x over to the left side, plus log base 3 of x. And if I bring the log base 3 of a to the left side, it becomes minus. Log base 3 of a is less than 0. Now I have the log base 3 of x twice. I have it once where it's squared and once where it's not, so it might be easier to introduce a variable y and set that equal to the log base 3 of x. Substituting that into my equation, I have y squared plus y minus the log base 3 of a is less than 0. And that's about as far as I can go not knowing a. So now, let's look at the answer. The solution we know is 1 ninth less than x less than 3. I've left a lot of space in here because I would like to turn x into y so that I get two equations in terms of y. To turn x into y, I need to take the log base 3 of x, and to make it fair, I need to take the log base 3 of the left and right sides as well. So let's see what we get. The log base 3 of 1 ninth is negative 2, since 3 to the negative 2 power is 1 ninth. The log base 3 of x is what I'm calling y, and the log base 3 of 3 is 1, since 3 to the first power is 1. Okay, but if I know that negative 2 is less than y, which is less than 1, I can write an equation in terms of y. I know one of my solutions is negative 2. That will give me y plus 2 as a factor. My other solution at the other end is 1. That will give me y minus 1 as a factor. And I know that this has to be less than 0. Since I'm in between these two numbers, I will get a positive for one and a negative for the other, and that'll give me a negative answer. Well, if I do some distributing to make this a polynomial like the polynomial I have on the left, I will get y squared plus 2y minus y minus 2 is less than 0, y squared plus y minus 2 is less than 0, and now these two inequalities match perfectly except for the log base 3, which must be equal to this 2 in the other equation. The log base 3 of a is equal to 2. Well, 3 to the second power is equal to a. Rewriting this equation in exponential form says a equals 3 to the second power, which is 9. So there's my answer for A. Thanks for watching.